Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Pasala. Today I will discuss a problem which comes in Sechanne June 2023 in Part B. Let's see the problem. Which of the following values of A, B, C and D will produce quadrature formula this that has degree of precision 3? So before doing the problem we have to know what is the degree of precision of quadrature formula. Let's see. A quadrature formula is said to have degree of precision k where k is a positive integer if the formula is exact for any arbitrary polynomial for any arbitrary polynomial of degree less than or equal to k and there exists at least one polynomial of degree k plus 1 which the formula is not exact. Here k equal to what is given 3. If I take any polynomial of k degree less than or equal to 3, then the, then the formula should satisfy. Okay. That means exact. Okay. So, we take here general formula, general polynomial fx, fx equal to a3 x cube plus a2 x square plus a1x plus a0 so what should be f minus 1 f minus 1 should be minus a3 plus a2 plus sorry minus a1 plus a0 okay and what should be f1 f1 will be a3 plus a2 plus a1 plus a0 then f dash x what it is equal to 3 a 3 x square plus 2 a 2 x plus a 1 ok so so f dash 1 what f dash minus 1 equal to 3 a 3 minus 2 a 2 plus a 1 and f dash 1 should be 3 a 3 plus 2 a 2 plus a 1 so we calculate all f minus 1 f1 f, f dash minus 1 and f dash 1 and now we try to put this value in the given quadrature formula and calculate the condition what we get from there so what is given the quadrature formula this one so we write this one minus 1 to 1 fx dx equal to a f minus 1 plus b f 1 plus c f dash minus 1 plus d f dash 1. Let's see again a minus a f minus 1 plus b into f 1 c f dash minus 1 plus d into f dash 1. So, okay, so okay. So now we putting this value and calculate the condition. Okay, so minus 1 to 1 fx is what a3 x cube plus a2 x square plus a1 x plus a0 into dx where we, what we get a f dash f, f minus 1 means minus a3 plus a2 minus a1 plus a0 plus b into f1 means a3 plus a2 plus a1 plus a0 plus c into f dash minus 1 f dash minus 1 means 3 a3 minus 2 a2 plus a1 and plus d into f dash 1 f dash minus 3 a3 plus 2 a2 plus a1 okay So basically what we get here if I indicate a3 x to the power 4 by 4 plus a2 x cube by 3 plus a1 x square by 2 plus a0 x a0 x from minus 1 to 1. Now if we, now we, I want to take common a3 if I here a3 is this a3 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 if I take common a3 what we get 
from this term minus a from this term plus b from this term plus 3c from this term plus 3d now we want to take common a2 so from first term what we get a from second term we get plus b from third term we get minus 2c from fourth term we get plus 2d okay now we now i want to take common a1 if we take a1 common then what we get what we get a1 into minus a from the first term from the second term plus b from the third term what we get plus c from the fourth term what we get plus d and finally we, i want to take common a0 a0 is in this term there is no a0 so basically we get a plus b in the left hand side what we get let's see if i put my 1 from for x then we get a3 by 4 plus a2 by 3 plus a1 by 2 plus a0 okay and minus minus a3 by 4 minus a2 by 3 plus a1 by 2 minus a0 right hand side should you will be same of this one so finally we get this term this term cos of this term this term cos of and this term this term cross up so we get 2a2 by 3 plus 2a0 equal to what equal to we get a3 into minus a plus b plus 3c plus 3d and plus a2 into a plus b minus 2c plus 2d plus a1 into minus a plus b plus c plus d and a0 into a plus b so so finally if i take equal to coefficient of this term here we get in the right hand side coefficient of a 3 is this but here is coefficient of 3 is 0 basically if I, if we if i equal the coefficient of every term then we get from the coefficient of a3 what we get minus a plus b plus 3c plus 3d equal to 0 okay from the coefficient of a2 what we get from there we get a plus b minus 2c plus 2d here we get 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 from the coefficient of a1 what we get here we get minus a plus b plus c plus d there here we here coefficient of a1 is 0 so basically we get 0 and coefficient of a0 what we get a plus b in the right hand side coefficient of a0 is 2 so basically we got get this condition if we can see you can see that we get a plus b equal to 2 so first we check or in the all option a plus b is two, equal to 2 or not if i see there is a plus b equal to 2 so this option may be true in this option a plus b equal to 0 a plus b equal to there is 0 so this option should be false basically we get a plus b2 there are also a plus b2 so this option may be true they are what is they are a plus b equal to 0 so fourth option should be false so one or three option may be true okay so now check the other condition what we get the another condition we get a a minus a plus b plus c plus d equal to 0 minus a plus b plus c plus d equal to 0 let's check the in there here we get if, if minus a plus b means in the for the first option minus a plus b means minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 what we get 0 so this condition satisfy for this option and the for the fourth option for the third option what check minus 1 plus 1 
minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 this also should prove so so now still 1 and 3 option are true now I have to check another condition for the another condition what is give that we check these two conditions satisfied so now we check the for this condition a plus b minus 2 plus minus 2c plus 2d equal to 2 by 3 a plus b minus 2c plus 2d equal to 2 by 3 2 by 3 for the first option if i take a plus b means 1 plus 1 minus 2c means 2 by 3 plus 2d means minus 2 by 3 so if i take common here we get 2 3 plus 3 minus 2 minus 2 basically we 6 minus 4 2 by 3 so this option is true so still first option is true now for the third option check a plus b means 1 plus 1 c 2 minus 2 c means minus 2 c means plus 2 by 3 plus 2 d means plus 2 by 3 if i take this 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 we get 4 7 10 10 by 3 so this is not equal to 2 by 3 so option 3 is false so only option is remain so option 1 should be true so there is another condition let's see what is that minus a plus b plus 3c plus 3d minus a plus b plus 3c plus 3d equal to 0 so let's check minus 1 plus 1 plus 3 by 3 minus 3 by 3 so this one should be 0 so this option should also satisfy so first one is true and no, satisfy all the four condition so this is very good problem and very easy problem we can solve by one definition only so thank you for watching the video